picked up defensively after that first quarter. Well, what did you see the turnaround? Well, I thought our, when our smaller lineup uh, was more aggressive. Once we started going, getting the 50-50 balls, I thought they beat us to everyone that first time out I called early. Uh, that was my concern. Just all the hustle plays, they were getting, getting them like, as they did the last game. And I thought after that that we started to turn up the heat. Um, again, uh, defense got us back in the game, picking up a little bit more full court. Yeah, uh, uh, Delon's ability to pick up Dragon full court and Pirtle's ability to affect the at the rim really changed the tone of the game. Those two young guys, I said the University of Utah was plus 54 or whatever it was. Uh, but they really came in and did an excellent job, much different than they played the other night against Chicago. And that's the thing you get with young players, up and down. But uh, they came in tonight and really did an excellent job of setting the tone. DeLon got where he wanted to go with the basketball, attacking and pick and roll, and then defensively, like you said, picking up Dragic, who's probably a, a one of the toughest covers. Left-handed, crafty, you know, gets that forearm into you. Uh, and he did an excellent job on him. Well, again, like I said, they, you know, they're, you got to expect up and downs. So like the other night, they were non existent against, uh, against Chicago, and you expect that from young players, but you got to maintain the confidence in them, and uh, they're going to give you nights like tonight, and uh, their, their, whole, their whole future is going to be bright. And um, the good thing about it, they have guys like Kyle, like Corey, uh, like Jonas in front of them that can really be there for them when, when they have tough nights. I know it's hard to say somebody had a quiet 40, but. Mark getting those 40 in that man didn't seem out of place. In the Very efficient, 25, you know, 25 attempts. Uh, you know, he did an excellent job of handling pick and roll. They're blitzing him. He's doing a good job of finding people, uh, passing out of the double team. And uh, that's, that's the efficient game that he had. Uh, you know, he's playing an old man's game. You know, people talking about his usage and his minutes and all that, but he's playing an old man's game. Uh, rarely does he get up and go up, be a high flyer and, and all those things. And, um, you know, I'm more concerned. <laughs> he, he's expending a lot of energy on the defensive end, which is good. I mean, what does this mean? Sorry, this win mean given that the last time you were here, what happens? You guys overcame that bull sort of nasty habit. Like two, it's almost like two wins in a row where psychologically you guys must feel pretty good about yourselves. Well, you know, again, it's, it's a long season. We got to be trending upward. Zick going into the playoffs, and this is what it's about. You know, don't get too high on wins and you don't get too disappointed. Uh, you know, losses, it's an even kill, but again, we got to be trending in a certain way. And I like the way we're trending defensively uh, because, again, the, the playoff games are going to be a lot like we're playing right now, more so than the high flying, high scoring games uh, that you see. So the trending, the way we're going is good, setting the tone, holding this team to 39% uh, from the field and 26% from the three point line was, was big, and that's the way we got to play. Is it the, the shot contesting, uh, the rebound? It's a little bit of everything. I mean, you know, uh, PJ setting the tone. Uh, you know, Serge wasn't here tonight, but you know, the young fella, uh, Pirtle did a good job of protecting the paint. Delon Wright did a good job of getting up, picking up. Uh, but again, you, it's the defensive presence of uh, and the talking and the leadership of, of Tucker. I think is setting the tone, uh, may, holding that guys accountable out there on the court, talking, creating that defensive uh, personality that we got to have. Demar has previously said that he looked up to Kobe as a kid. Do you see any similarities between Demar's game? And well, again, I think DeMar took a lot of Kobe's mannerisms, his footwork uh, in the post, uh, his footwork when he has the basketball. I think that's what he's talking about. Um, I, I, I hope and pray that, that DeMar continues to improve and be as good as Kobe because Kobe is one of the best in our, that's ever been in our league. Dwayne, did you see maybe an added sense of confidence from, from DeLon? I mean, he was uh, well, again, the, the coaches we got on him about about his performance the other night, which, you know, in teaching, that's that's what young players have to learn from their last game. And he took it, and he and Pirtle both stepped up and, and again, uh, played much better than they did against Chicago. And um, that's, the, again, that's what you get, when, you know, when you're developing young players and guys coming through, you know, I'm uh, playing, and I, I really love the way they played tonight. Dwayne, in the, in the last game you were here, it, it didn't go so well, but you put a young group in at the end that kind of helped bring it back. Was that in the back of your mind tonight? No, it, it, again, I was just telling them, uh, Jones, I thought it was just the defensive uh, disposition we have, defensive mindset. 
uh, the freshness that we had. Again, I, you know, again, there's no excuses in this league, but when you get in at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, and then you come play a high, young, energetic team like this, it, you know, you, you start out the game behind the eight balls. So, but again, I thought, you know, head to head, fresh to fresh, uh, gave us an opportunity, especially with a defensive disposition.